This is Top Gamer 007 here. And before we get started the VG Bulletin, the link to all news articles and timestamp is going to be in the description below. Let's get started. Let's move on to Nintendo Switch news. The Arnt Twitter account just posted another update containing the image on screen right now. According to Nintendo Everything, it states, it certainly looks like a new state, doesn't it? The tweet has Biff talking about being on vacation and hearing there is going to be a fighter around here. He also mentions the sweet sense of exorcism in the air. Everything points out this being related to a new fighter, who likely to be accompanied by a new stage as well. It does line up what we heard from the data mine last week. I cannot wait until arms, this arms character comes out, comes and release so I can play him. I do not like Max Brass. Um, he's a little bit too much like Springman. That's what I dislike. And I dislike Springman because he's a little, I don't know, I just don't understand his mechanics. I would love to play a character that I'm really good at other than Kid Cobra because Kid Cobra is my character. Always destroy online. I think my win rate is... 85% um, in arms, so I would love to get another character on my thing. Um, Ribbon Girl, I'm not that good. That's my second, but it's not as good. And Min Min is like a third, but I need the design. The design is important as well. I would love if the character, um, I would love if they design this character so memorable. And I would love if they have a memorable backstory like Min Min. And Min Min uh, had a ramen noodle shop and the people could go and eat and blah blah blah. I would love if they make a memorable backstory for this character. Sweet, probably in the... I don't know, I can't make up a story. So I would love if the arms were, were developers to keep that in mind when creating new characters. I don't want them to be, oh they just joined the tournament! You know what I'm saying? So I would love if they had some more backstory. Let's move on to Sonic Mania news. Sonic Re Mania reviews are out. And as of today, Sonic Mania is one of the best review Sonic games. Nintendo Everything gave a good summary of what critics gave Sonic Mania. But notice, most of these reviews are for the PS4. And we have still got to wait what score that critics give to the Nintendo Switch. It is possible that they could change reviews depending on the platform as well because of different bugs. Could be a PS4 version and not in the Switch version. So let's get started. With a day remaining, this is according to Nintendo Everything, with a day remaining until the official launch, Sega lifted the review embargo for Sonic Mania. We rounded up some of the early verdicts below. Let's go through all of this. I will have the verdicts on screen. All right, let's go through this. IGN, 8.7 out of 10. GameSpot, 9 out of 10. Inf Game Informer, 8.5 out of 10. Kataka, Nana, that mean none. Air Gaming, Essential. I think Essential means you have to get it. I, I, don't quote me on this. Polygon, 7 out of 10. What's wrong with you, Polygon? Destructoid, 8 out of 10. Video Gamer, 7 out of 10. What are these people? Game Beat, 93 out of 100. US Gamer, 4 out of 5. Just remember that these are just showing the most important, the more important reviewers. If you want the full list of all the reviewers, it's going to be in the description below. The Metacritic the link is going to be in the description below. At the time of this recording, Sonic Mania got a 86 on Metacritic. And as, the, as of this recording, is the 6th best review Sonic game. But remember, this could, could change for the better or the worse. While more reviews are released, one day is just one day left. Man, it's crazy. One day left. It's just, it's sad that I can't record gameplay because I started doing gameplay recordings um, over my videos and I can't record it because I don't have a capture card. I only have PC and I have to wait until the 29th, I think, 28th. One of those days. I think it's the 29th on PC. And I have to wait until start recording on that game. Even if I probably won't beat it. 
But if I beat it fast enough, because I'm getting it midnight tonight, it's coming out tonight, 12 o'clock. If it comes out and I beat it fast enough, I might review the game. So let's move on to Nintendo Ubisoft news. Last week, Rayman Legend Definitive Edition demo was pulled from the eShop. This isn't the first time the demo first appeared, of course. A while ago, a version of the demo appeared alongside the listing in the European eShop. It had a technical issues with skippy audio that crippled out the Castle Rock stage. Intriguingly, this only happened when the system was docked as it ran beautifully in portable mode. Ubisoft stated that the demo was, which was prompted removed from the store was an earlier version and not representative of the final product. Nintendo Life reported that good news is that the final, the final download does indeed fix the issues. It looks fantastic and has quicker loading times. And we played the demo with the system docked and we can confirm that the Rhythmic Castle Rock stage now run exactly as it should. This is really good news. I wonder why Rayman Legend Definitive Edition demo was removed from the European eShop. It just happened out of nowhere. It's obviously that they wanted to fix the bugs so people don't get confused like, well, that's obviously going to be a bad port uh, because they already got these problems that the original Rayman Legends didn't have on the Wii U, Xbox One, PS4. So... That's why they removed it, and now they released it in North America eShop. Now, so if you want to try Rayman Legends, if you never played it 2013 for some good reason, this is the perfect time to try it now. Like, perfect time. You get the demo, try it. If you like it, get the final game. But I am not going to get it because I played enough Rayman Legends. I played that three times. It's called that you need to move on to other games. Let's move on to Nintendo news. PAX West 2017 is just a few weeks away. The Big N presence is confirmed. And in another interesting way. The official PAX West schedule was published this week. We know that Nintendo will be holding some sort of panel in Hydra Theater on September 2nd. Between 10 and 11 a.m. The panel itself is a mystery at, pr at the present with a description stating a special Nintendo panel at PAX 2017. <laughs> wow, I have a great feeling that this mystery game is a new Nintendo game that's gonna release this year or early next year, like maybe early next year around Breath of the Wild. Maybe they're gonna do a Sony. Maybe they're gonna put a like one huge game in the, the beginning of the year, one and then they're gonna do a Nintendo and make one huge game at the end of the year. Like maybe Pokemon is that huge game at the end of the year, and maybe this huge game is for the beginning of the year that they're announcing now. Or they could be just trying to push Metroid Samus Return, that final mar marketing push. That's Nintendo's problem. We All we could do is wait and see because this don't make any sense because Nintendo Directs, um, if it's a smaller Nintendo news and trying to give you information, like Nintendo Directs usually tell you days before. Nintendo only announced a, like something huge, like they only announced it a weeks before in advance when it's huge, like they want to market it, like watch this or not, like E3. So it's probably a new game, it's probably just one they put on more eyes on Metroid, and Metroid is not as popular and they want it to be popular. All we could do is wait and see what's at Nintendo Special PAX 2017, PAX West 2017 on September 2nd. Let's move on to the last news of today. EA could be bringing more Nintendo Switch games if FIFA 18 performs well. EA future support on the Switch hinders on the performance of uh, FIFA 18. Speaking to Edge this month, exclusive Vice President Patrick Suderlan, I probably butchered that, noted that the company wanted to support the platform and quote unquote and help Nintendo grow its install place. Quote, he went to say that it's about supporting the platform, building the technology for the platform, sussing it out with big things like FIFA and maybe a couple of others. We'll see. And if they go well, 
I see no reason why we shouldn't have as much of our portfolio on the platform as possible. If you want the whole quote, this is a huge, like a huge sentence and a huge couple of sentences from Edge Magazine. Um, this and everything got everything covered for you. The whole quote is in the, gonna be in the description below. True, man, you could tell Nint you could tell EA loves Nintendo, but their games don't sell on the platform. You already know this. No, everyone knows. Like no one was gonna go to Nintendo platform to play some Madden or FIFA. No one ever does this, and this is like a risk. This is a huge risk EA is doing. Um, they, they, well, Nintendo fans, this is their last chance to get EA's support because EA is shying away. EA is shying away from Nintendo Switch. They want their franchises on the Switch, but if they can't do a simple FIFA port and no one buys it, I don't know, man. This is a business. Like, they have to sell. And if they don't sell at least half a million copies or more, I doubt EA will ever support the Switch. They probably put their indie games, uh, Origin Access games or something on here. Like like those un Unravel sports or something. You don't want that. You want the huge, big games like Mass Effect, Battlefield, and the Star Wars games on the Switch. Come on, tell them with our wallets. Like, I want to support them, and I would love if you could support them too. They're not making a bad port of FIFA. FIFA is making, it's going to be a good port, 1080p, 60 frames. No, it's not going to be that story mode. It's not going to be in there. Who cares? Uh, I met, I played FIFA before, and I, no one ever plays the story. So, it's, uh, it's a thing. Like, if you want the core of FIFA, you need to get it. And this will help Nintendo, because more EA games will come, and it will help the, fran um, the fan base and the, the Switch user base. In general so you got to take risk with your wallet so yes it's about time to end my video if you like the video give it a thumbs up I would love if you could subscribe to expand my channel and share the video if you think it could inform someone else and comment below I love to read good or bad comments it helped me improve as a youtuber so this is talking with 007 and I see you in the next one peace